We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is Saturday, August 22nd and we are at in Fort Bragg at the Living Light Festival and I've got such an amazing guest with, for you today. We've, we have Jennifer Cornbley. Hi everyone. How's it going? Good, Right good. on. Thank you for coming on the TV show. You're welcome. Cool. Are you touring a lot at all right now? Or are you just like, we see lots of videos and you're the author of a couple books. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, yes. I'm traveling all over teaching. Uh, we're at the Living Light Institute in California right now, which is one of the places I teach. I also teach in Chicago and travel all around the country. Right on. And um, we sell your books like crazy. I mean, it's like probably one of the easiest to understand and uh -huh. just really good for beginners. Uh -huh. I mean, so what, what books do you have? You have... I have Raw Food Made Easy for one or two people. Uh -huh. And every recipe in here takes under 30 minutes from start to finish. There's nothing dehydrated, no sprouting, no fancy equipment or exotic ingredients. It's for one or two people, so you're not spending a ton of time and money making huge amounts of food you don't need right then. So it's very, very easy to use. Awesome. And you uh -huh. have you just came out with a new book. Just came out with a new book, Raw for Dessert, Easy Delights for Everyone. Mm -hmm. And this is so great, not only for people interested in raw foods, but anyone who's trying to avoid dairy products or gluten or wheat, white sugar, white flour. These desserts are free of all that, but they taste amazing. And any dessert you can make cooked, you can make raw. Cakes, cookies, pies, tarts, crisps, ice creams, candies, all of it. Oh, that is so awesome. And you have a DVD. <laughs> I do. I also have a DVD companion to Raw Food Made Easy. And this is like having a class with me. It's a two-hour DVD where I show you all the techniques, the knife skills, how to use the equipment, how to make breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. And is it from the recipes in your book? or is it? Yes, it's from the recipes in the book. Uh, so it's a good companion. Uh, but like I said, some people learn visually. So it's a way of having a class with me and kind of making it all come together that way. Cool. And are you on a raw food diet? Yes, I do follow a raw food diet. I'm not totally strict. I like to be flexible, uh, so but I do eat mostly raw food, and I love it. Awesome. Um, so you're like on an intermediate, healthy, like whole food, cooked food diet, like yes, intermediate, right healthy, whole food, cooked food. So diet. you don't go to McDonald's or anything. Don't go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. So are you a single woman? Or are you married? I'm single. You are. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say that on TV, but... All right, guys. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> That's cool. Okay, so um, what do you have a website where people can learn more about you? And... Yeah, my website is www.learnrawfood.com, and there's a lot of recipes up there, as well as information about upcoming events. Wow. And have you been traveling around the world or just the United States? or Mostly the United States. I've done a little bit in Canada, a little bit in London. going to be going to Australia in March of 2010. And you do classes and stuff like that? Classes and uh, introductory lectures about raw food made easy and raw for dessert. Uh huh. Awesome. Uh -huh. Awesome. Anything else that you're doing that you want to share about? Like, do you. Well, the main thing that I do is, in addition to working on the books and promoting them, is I teach at the Living Light Institute in Fort oh, Bragg, California, which is where we are right now. I had no idea. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the main teacher for the teacher training program. Oh. So I teach people to be raw food teachers, and it's a wonderful chef and instructor training program. I encourage anybody who wants a career change or just wants to learn how to share raw foods with their family and friends and do fun culinary demonstrations to come. Wow. Uh -huh. I had no idea. <laughs> cool. And these are awesome books. And Thank you. Yeah, we carry them. Everyone's loving them. My next question is, uh -huh. do you have any other new stuff coming on the market that we are that is in pr the progress of being made or something? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, the book, the, the dessert book literally just came out, so yeah. I'm still very, very much involved with that. At some point, there will be a DVD ah. uh, out on this, and at some point, I'm hoping there's going to be a Raw Food Made Easy revised edition and a Raw Food Made Easy 2, more Raw Food Made Easy recipes. So wow. there's always going to be more books coming, and if people just check in on my website, learnrawfood.com, you'll always know what's coming up. You can sign up there to get updated. Right on. Uh -huh. Do you have any tips or anything for anybody, like, as a last little thing? Uh -huh. Well, ask me a question. What, what do you want? What do people want to know about? Do they want to know about entrees? Do they want to. Mo what do they want to know about with desserts? What's a common question you get? Like tips about how to be raw, or how to just be high raw, or just like how to. Mm -hmm. Like any suggestions or yeah, how to be raw. And at first, I do want to give a disclaimer that I am not a nutritionist at all. I'm I my specialty is making the food taste good. So I'm really into that side of it. So I can give you all the tips you want on how to make it tasty. But in terms of um, how to be raw, I mean, 
I wrote this book, Raw Food Made Easy, because I personally needed it to be easier for myself. Because a lot of the books I was seeing out there, it just it was overwhelming. You had to dehydrate, and it just took four hours to make a recipe. And so for me to stick to anything, it's got to taste good, and it's got to be really, really fast. So that's right. kind of my major tip for myself and everyone else, is if you can find some really fast recipes that you love the taste of and you're going to want to keep coming back to, it's going to make it a lot easier. Cool. And then I, I want one more tip uh -huh. um, that has to do with preparing food. Uh -huh. You know, for example, there's a lot of um, people that say you need to have like a lemon, salty, and sweet, uh -huh. and or something like that. Uh -huh. I don't know. Like for a dessert, what do you recommend? Is there any t types of tips to make like the ultimate dessert that's like common amongst all desserts? Or uh -huh. well, yeah. Let's see. Tips for desserts. Um, well, let me let me start off with. Uh, Cakes and cookies are one thing that's really, uh, that people feel like they can't have that if they can't have flour or sugar, then how can you have a cake or a cookie? Right. Uh, but with raw foods, uh, what we usually use to replace that are nuts such as almonds or walnuts. When you grind them up, they're going to replace flour. Wow. Uh, dried coconut also, when you grind it up, can replace flour. And it can replace butter too, because it's kind of floury and buttery. So that's what replaces flour. Um, dates and other natural sweeteners like dried fruits and agave nectar, which is a liquid sweetener made from the agave plant, um, that's going to replace white sugar and it's going to be a lot easier on your system than white sugar. And um, avocados, and at times coconuts, but you can just use avocado also, that's going to replace cream butter and eggs. Wow. And that might seem strange to use avocado in a dessert, but if you think about it, cream butter and eggs don't really taste like anything. <laughs> they just make things rich, and that's what avocado does. And in fact, this is in my first book. I'll just, I just want to show you a couple pictures here, you guys. Um, this is a chocolate mousse made out of avocado, but you would never know that there was avocado in it. It tastes just like there's... Uh, cream butter and eggs in it. Avocado. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Can I show your viewers just a couple other dessert pictures? Yeah, that's amazing. These are these are yeah, go for it. Okay. These are great tips. Like people are gonna love this video. I'm really excited about it. Okay, cool, cool. Well this is I just made this in a demo today. This is a pineapple upside down cake. Whoa. And the crust is a shortbread crust made from just like I mentioned, walnut states coconut, you know, instead of flour. And it's plated on a caramel sauce right here, made wow. out of cashew butter. Wow. Yeah. You can do a lot with that caramel sauce. You can put it on ice cream. It's a hot, it's a turtle sundae. There's actually a Brazil nut vanilla ice cream on top of a brownie wow. uh, with a chocolate ganache syrup on top of there. That's crazy. And I, do, do your viewers like ice cream? Do people like ice cream? Oh, we love I, ice cream. I love ice cream. Angela can't get enough of ice cream. <laughs> well, I love ice cream, and there's so much you can do with raw ice creams. If you want it light, you know, not too heavy, these are granitas, an orange and a grapefruit granita, which is an Italian ice. It's like mm -hmm. a slushy. It's really, really tasty and refreshing on a hot summer day. Do you have other ice creams in there? Absolutely, and I'm gonna show you another picture here of some sundaes. Um, this is a blackberry sundae made out of Brazil nut vanilla ice cream and blackberry sorbet with a blackberry sauce. Yeah, yeah. And that's a banana split with chocolate vanilla right. and strawberry ice cream with chocolate sauce and bananas. But you can you can change flavors of ice cream by changing the nut milk base. Right. This Brazil nut vanilla ice cream is made out of a Brazil nut milk as a base. Mm -hmm. And then you blend that milk with a little agave nectar, vanilla, and a few soaked cashews to make it creamy. You put it in your ice cream maker, turn it on, and that's it. Ice cream makers today are really easy to use. There's no rock salt and ice and, and hand cranking or any of that. It's just an electric machine. It costs $40. You press a button, and that's it. So this is vanilla ice cream, but you can vary the flavor. You can make strawberry. You can make chocolate. You can make pistachio, cookies and cream, coffee mm. ice cream, you know, all the, all the different flavors. And then you can combine them in different ways to make sundaes. They last for a week in your freezer, so you can mix and match them and have sundaes. So wow. For anyone who wants to eat dairy-free but still loves ice cream, I actually think these taste better than any other non-dairy ice cream on the market. Absolutely. They're really good. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So if someone wants to actually get in contact with you by email, uh -huh. is that can they just email you at your website, or do you want yeah. to give that information? If you just go to my website, learnrawfood.com, there's a contact us button, and you can email me through that. And it gets to you? Uh, it gets to me. I will personally read it. Yes. Right on. <laughs> I thought I might just add that because now there's probably some guys out there that are going to be like, oh, she's... <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming on Thank to the show you. today. All Thanks, right. everybody. Yeah, we've got Jennifer Cornbleet and Matt Monarch, and we'll see you tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.